creative, interactive, and modern. Such an exhibition presents the history of the life of German immigrants in Azerbaijan. Along with documentary photos and video materials, the exhibition presents interactive maps, multimedia, and installations. The exhibition German Ajan visually and very vividly presents the viewer with the history of real people, tells about the traits they left in the history of Azerbaijan. The mass resettlement of Germans to Azerbaijan dates back to the first half of the 19th century. By the beginning of the 20th century, there were eight German settlements in Azerbaijan. Due to the difficult living conditions in their homeland, people who were mainly engaged in agriculture moved here in search of more favorable climate for living and working. In the second half of the 19th century, the rapid development of the economy and industry attracted specialists from various industries from Germany to the capital of Azerbaijan, Baku. These are entrepreneurs, scientists, architects, and engineers. By 1939, 23,133 Germans lived in Azerbaijan. But with the beginning of the Great Patriotic War, the Germans who lived on the territory of Azerbaijan were deported to remote areas of Kazakhstan and Siberia. Then the history of German immigrants in Azerbaijan ended. However, those who left Germany's culture have left their mark on Azerbaijan until now. German Ajan is an exhibition uh, which tells the story of successful migration, tells the story of uh, German settlers who 200 years ago came to the Caucasus and came to Azerbaijan. And what the exhibition does is to depict the reciprocal influences of the cultures and to show the positive results which came out of it. So it depicts this part of Azerbaijani and German history, this part of common history, uh, as a joint success. Of course the exposition is also true to the fact that most German settlers were at the beginning of the, after the beginning of the Second World War displaced from Azerbaijan, uh, by, deported from Azerbaijan by Stalin. But in between that time there were more than 100 years of um, successes and uh, a story which basically brought both people together and had lasting influence for both countries. A significant part of the exhibition is devoted to architecture. Over the years, German architects who lived here built dozens of buildings in Azerbaijan. All of them are indicated on the map presented at the exhibition. Some of them were destroyed, such as the Alexander Nevsky Orthodox Cathedral, which was demolished after the establishment of the Soviet power in Azerbaijan. Today, dozens of buildings created in Azerbaijan by German architects are under state protection. The exhibition German Ajan, German Heritage and Architecture in Azerbaijan will be open to visitors until February 16th.